Hello, this is Sparky Mutz. Welcome to The Way I Draw. I'm going over contour lines on this unit. So here we start with the original uh, sketch. Now we're going over the lines, but not quite over the lines. We're simply refining the old sketch and making a clean uh, layer of line work on top of it. You'll notice that in some places uh, I will make a line, then erase it, and then remake the line. I'll be very particular about uh, the way I put the lines because this is going to be the final line work. I'll be adding some fluff to the tail by creating jagged lines to indicate fur. There will be some detail work. Uh, most of the detail work will come later in a separate layer. You'll notice that there, in some places there's an indication of overlap where one part of the sleeve, for example, the line continues and then another line starts just before that line ends and goes off in a different direction. That's how I uh, indicate some uh, depth to the fabric. I'm drawing the whole hand here, but I will be erasing part of the hand when I draw the pencil that overlaps the hand. Adding some folds to the fabric also adds some dimensionality to it. It lets you know that the fabric is really supposed to be there. Uh, for the paws, I use four toes on the main part of the paw. You can't see it, but on the inside of the paw, there's a thumb toe, more like a dew claw. Um, for the main part of the paw, the two middle toes stick out further than the paws on the inside and the outside. Than the toes on the inside and the outside, I should say. Adding some dimensionality to the eye as well. Um, there's a uh, line indicating where there's a brow. Uh, three small lines indicating where the eye um, socket sort of recesses a little bit. Now I'm drawing Lammy's arm. Lammy's uh, shoulder is arched a little bit to show that her hand is supporting uh, her arm, which is supporting the weight of her body. When I draw hand hooves on sheep and cows, um, I always have the hoof sticking out of the end of the finger, like a uh, hoof would, sort of. Again, hooves are fun for me to draw, especially the foot hooves. And again, I'm just choosing the best line work to uh, go from, or approximating it at least. Again, uh, jagged lines can indicate either a jagged edge or a mass of fur uh, that uh, little tufts stick out of. The lines here indicate that the uh, hair is uh, coming out of the head and the roots are sort of exposed. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, Lammy's iris, or her pupil, is sort of uh, rectangular shaped. That is a bovid eye. Adding some realism to the ears by showing the interior detail. A sheep's jawline sort of drops, a uh, similar story with cows. Uh, a dog's jawline mostly just goes straight back. Also adding some seams to the uh, sweatpants there. I added some seams to uh, the Quarantine Collie's 
uh, sweatshirt as well. For the uh, tail flaps, I usually like to have a uh, button that uh, covers the top of the tail. In the end, I will be separating the line work for these two, as you can see in this uh, finalized version. Thank you very much for watching, and have fun drawing!